still got a few minutes. So? Well, maybe you want to look it over one more time? Nah, I didn't study. Ben, this test counts for a third of your final grade. I'll have to give you an F. No, nah, that's okay. Three pages by Friday, people. Answer the immortal question. If they had lived, would Romeo and Juliet have stayed together, or were they just Shakespeare's version of Justin and Brittany? Romeo and Juliet killed themselves because they were asshats. Smile. Your day's officially over. I'm not smiling till next week when my days as a high school teacher are officially over. What did the little rat bastards do this time? Please, they don't do anything. They don't work. They don't listen. They don't care. And as of next week, neither do I. You're burned out, that's all. You need a break. A permanent break. You take the job seriously. That's what makes you a great teacher. Past tense, please. Okay. Fine. That's, uh, that's what made you a great teacher. Deep down, you love the little rat bastards, and they love you. Oh. oh, yeah, they love me all right. They love me so much. Meet Rachel Stark. She may think she's ready to quit her job and leave her students behind. But today, this teacher's going to learn a lesson in commitment. Courtesy of the Twilight Zone. Hey, geek. bus. He had a heart attack. I tried to give him CPR, but he died. That must have been awful. It was. Have you ever seen anyone die? Yeah, my grandfather when I was 10. Did anything weird happen? Weird how? Before the man died, I saw this light around his face. Like a halo? Less cheesy, but yeah. That's weird. The thing is, I saw the light on Jose, too. Who? Jose Molina, sophomore, one of my English lit kids. He was riding a skateboard. I thought it was just something in my eye, but... What? <laughs> Nothing. Hey, Jose was just fine. It was 
kind of counting on you to laugh and tell me it was all in my head. I'm sure it is. But I don't think it's a, a coincidence that you're, you're seeing strange lights right after giving notice at the school. Meaning? Meaning? Uh, maybe you're feeling a little guilty. What for? Well, for leaving the kids, for giving up on teaching. Whatever you say, you still started out like the rest of us, wanting to make a difference. It's, it's got to be hard to let that go. Well, here I am, letting go. Those kids will be just fine without me, and I'll be more than fine without them. I just had a weird afternoon. That's all. say a plague on both your houses he wanted everyone dead but Romeo was his friend right why would he want his friend to die Arlie um Mercutio was dying he was all alone he didn't have any friends <laughs> bet you know what that feels like huh shut up Brian Stark, you okay? I'm sorry to have to tell you this. Jose Molina was hit by a car on his way home from school yesterday. He died this morning. His parents got another 20 bambinos running out at home, right? <laughs> Go to the principal's office, Brian. That kind of talk is unacceptable. What are you looking at, tool? Mm. Anyone who wants to see the school counselor... Anyone who wants to see the school counselor, there's a sign-up sheet in her office. climbed to the clouds. He was too young to leave this earth. Romeo and Juliet, Act Three, Scene One. I went to the ICU. I saw the light on a man there. He was all alone. He didn't have any family, so I sat next to his bed and held his hand. He died an hour ago. Could be a coincidence. Did you hear about Jose? The lights are not in my head. They're real. Why is this happening? What does it mean? It just means that you did the right thing, quitting your job. It's, it's just a sign that you need a rest, that's all. I wish I could believe that. 
How can I help? Can you make it stop? something we have to send them home get them out of the building and somewhere safe safe from what all i know is something bad is going to happen Are you protecting someone a student maybe no it's nothing like that what then talk to me rachel right before jose molina was killed i saw a light on his face a few hours later, he was dead. I've seen the same light on two other people. They both died, too. Today, the light is on the students. There were so many of them. And you think that means they're going to die? I know they are. Miss Stark? I'm sorry, but are you coming back to class? Give us a moment. You have to believe me. You wanted a rest? Clearly you need one. Mr. Carr! Tomorrow's your last day anyway. That is probably a good thing. He, um, he asked me to make sure that you were okay. And to uh, make sure that you left the building before you had security escort you out. I know what I saw. The lights aren't a sign I should quit my job. They're a sign I need to do my job. Protecting these kids, that's our job, right? Yes, yes, but um, protect them from what? From who? I don't know, but why else? Why is this happening? Look, Principal Carr is serious. He wants you off the grounds. Just go home, okay? I, I will keep an eye on everything here, I promise. Miss Stark? Last day, huh? Apparently. I heard about it, how you think that people are going to die. And uh, I was just wondering how many people we were talking about. We're not talking about it at all. Why not? Is it because you see the light on my face? No. I don't. But you would tell me if you did, right? I'd, because I'd want to know. I'd tell you. I like you, Miss Stark. You know, you, you're all about the truth. Huh? I like you too, Ben. Uh, so what are you doing now? Go home, I guess. Yeah, good, good idea. Um, it's better if you're not here. Bye, Miss Stark. Goodbye, Ben. master list you're kidding right
choice. Mr. Carr, it's Ben. He's going to hurt the others, but I don't know how. I already asked you to leave once. Now I'm calling the police. Perfect. This isn't scheduled? Of course not. No, please, just listen to me, Mr. Carr. Let go! Please, just look Let's at go. his journal! I don't know what's going on here, but if I find out you're responsible... We have to find Ben. Keep moving, people! Come on! Security, help out! Please. Keep moving! That's right. Here to, uh, give me the speech, eh? What speech? You know how, uh, killing is wrong, Benjamin. <laughs> You're a smart kid. I think you already know that. You hate them as much as I do. You hate all of us. That's why you quit. That's not true. They slashed your tires. Brian and his, his little, his little maggot friends. Stop right there! I'm not going to let you kill anyone. How are you going to stop me? Rachel? Rachel Stark didn't ask to be special. She didn't want to be a hero. But sometimes fate reaches out a cold hand to tap your shoulder from the twilight side. 